Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another campaign playthrough with Tetris Hathaway, and we are up to the Unspeakable Oath. And uh, uh, I had only one experience to update my deck between scenarios, so I opted to add three copies of Open Gate into the deck and took out uh, both of the attested wheels and one copy of scrunching for supplies so i won't go into uh, detail on how the deck looks but i will add the video uh, add the link to the deck list into the video description if you're interested so uh, first off we'll start by uh, drawing the tarot cards so uh, we will resolve one upward tarot card and two uh, reverse tarot cards as we have the damned weakness still uh, last scenario went pretty horridly so i'm just hoping to survive through this so i can continue the campaign with patrice if i end up staying behind in the asylum i think that is the end of this campaign run and i will play something else next time but we'll see how this goes so just a quick shuffle to the tarot deck. So the upwards tarot card is uh, the magician. Each investigator begins game with three additional resources. So that's decent. And the first uh, downward. So we are doing the balance plus uh, damned reading. So we get the tower. Add one random basic weakness to each investigator's deck. We move them after the game ends. So. <laughs> Again, that is a really nasty one. And the last one is the Emperor. During the first uh, strength test, each investigator performs each round test. Uh, they get minus one strength. So that doesn't affect Patrice that much. But those are the tarot cards. So we are ready to begin. So let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to see what weakness Patrice gets for this scenario. So this uh, weakness will be removed after the scenario ends. So hopefully we don't get anything uh, bad this time either. So uh, I will redraw any cards that don't apply to this uh, playthrough. Uh, for example, multiplayer cards or something like that. So we pick one at random. And well, it is the unspeakable old thirst, and we are playing a campaign, so this applies. So this is pretty bad for Patrice because we are not keen on fighting anything, but we will have to do with this this weakness for this scenario. So we'll just quickly shuffle that into the deck. Uh, we are starting from the western wing. Uh, or the Western Patient Wing in the Asylum Halls. And uh, there are some changes if you haven't played the Return to. We have uh, a different um, second act to the scenario, because we have more conviction than doubt. So we had to pick uh, version 3 for that, and that will change the scenario up a bit. Okay, and we start here. So this was randomly selected. So Shroud of Two, after you defeat the Lunatic Enemy at this location, draw one card. Okay, well, doesn't help our situation at this point. So we are ready to draw our opening hand. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, no weaknesses. We don't need that. We don't need those. The Raven is okay. Spectral Razor, not that much. So we'll redraw five, two, three, four, five. Okay, well, we'll do with this. At least we got one of the open gates. So I think the first thing we do is to head up to the yard, plant that there, and uh, continue from there. So the plan is to play an open gate to the yard and then to the basement hall or somewhere there. So we can skip uh, moving from the basement to the yard later on in the scenario so let's see oh yeah and uh, we start with three additional resources 
so we have plenty of resources to go uh, and play stuff. So uh, I think first thing is to move to the yard. Uh, while you are investigating the yard, it gets Bosman Shroud for each four on you. And it's been a while uh, that I have played this scenario, so I will just double check my campaign log if I had any any trauma because yeah no trauma so one clue here second action we will uh, well we'll play open gate as a fast action then uh, second action we'll play mysterious raven and we'll play Patrice's violin. That could be useful. And we will discard the rest. So I think we'll just discard this card to uh, get one resource. Then uh, we'll go to upkeep. Uh, we'll discard. We'll play the Moonstone. So a pretty good start. We got a lot of assets into play right away. And uh, we can continue from there. So this readies. And we draw five more cards. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we get the Watcher from another dimension immediately. But we got uh, Shriveling, Six Sense and uh, other stuff. So I think Oh yeah, we get a resource, so we can play uh, six cents, so we can investigate better. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we are a doom. Oh no, not a resource, but a doom. <laughs> Encounter card for this round is it is the walls closing in. Test will fall. X X is the shroud value of your location. If you fail, you must either take one arrow. For each point you fail by, or randomly choose one enemy from amongst the set aside monster enemies and place it in the act deck without looking at it. Uh, we are testing, uh, let's see, uh, I think we'll commit this and test the uh, shroud, is only one here. So we'll test uh, 5 versus 1. Oh, yeah, and because of the last scenario, we have all of the special tokens in the back, so one of each. It is a skull. Skull is uh, minus one if you fail. You choose an enemy from amongst the set aside monster enemies and place it beneath the act deck without looking at it. So we succeed. Uh, we pass the test and we can continue. So, first up. Uh, We'll play six cents. And uh, we will investigate. And I'm investigating uh, with the six cents. So for five versus, oh yeah, I was six versus the. Fastest. So 5 versus 1. It is a minus 2. We pass, we grab this clue. So uh, if there are no clues on the yard, take 1 damage. Remember that you incited the fight. So we'll do that. We'll take 1 damage and we'll mark that we have done this deed here for later reference. Uh, okay, so play, uh, investigate, last action, I don't like to have the Watcher in my hand, clogging my hand up, so I will, uh, you may fight and evade the enemy while it is in your hand, as if they are at the allocation, if you succeed, discard this from your hand, if you fail, spawn it, engage with you, so we have last chance, so we could uh, we are, yeah. Tough choice. I will discard shriveling with the violin. 
to draw a card. Does not help. Uh, we have plus one to uh, agility, so last action I will evade the Watcher. So we are testing uh, three against five, I'm hitting the last chance, so I have one card, so this gives plus four. So we are seven versus five. And it is a skull, so we succeed, and this is discarded. Lucky break there. And that is all we can do. We go to upkeep. Uh, we discard our hand. One, two, three, four, five. We get uh, Miss Doyle. That's good. I think. And uh, yeah, the rest is okay, but not really great. But that is that round. Uh, we also get the resource. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, uh, the agenda advances, so uh, the patients shuffle the encounter, discard pile, and each of the set aside lunatic enemies into the encounter deck. The lead investigator must randomly choose an enemy from the set aside monster enemies and place it in the attack deck without looking at it. So uh, here we have the lunatics, and let's get the discard pile, so we will shuffle these into the uh, encounter deck. Oh yeah, the violin has read it. So we actually don't have any weaknesses in our deck at the moment because... Uh, oh yeah, we have the bloodlust. Unspeakable old bloodlust because we drew an extra for this scenario. So I was thinking I'm uh, safe to uh, go through my deck without getting any weaknesses, but I forgot about that one. Okay, and then we have to shuffle one of the set aside monster enemies at random to finish the act deck without looking. Then uh, we also get an encounter card. And it is Wolves closing in. We'll just test it. Uh, we are uh, 5 versus 1. So no, we won't commit anything. It is a minus 1. Nothing happens. And uh, let's start our turn. Nothing to do here, so we'll move. Uh, do we want to play anything? We don't have any resources, unfortunately. So Miss Doyle won't be played. Okay, so I think we're just going to investigate. So move, move to the mess hall. There are two clues here. Post after you successfully investigate the mess hall, choose and discard one card from your hand. That doesn't bother us at all. Last action, we are investigating with six cents. And let's commit uh, unexpected courage. Because we really don't want to draw more cards as our last action. Uh, we are investigating 7 versus 2. It is a minus 1, so we grab one clue. Next turn we can get one more and advance. So that was our last action. We have to discard the rest of our hand. Draw a new hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We get uh, Mist of Relay cornered. To what I found, guts and old key ring, and we get a resource. So that is that. Uh, we'll actually we would have used the violin to get the resource from one of our cars that we couldn't use. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom, one of seven. The encounter card for this round is uh, visions in your mind. Uh, secretly add this card to your hand, pause, when you would, when your turn ends, if you did not perform at least one draw action during your turn, discard this card from your hand and take one uh, direct damage and direct horror, so I think we are doing that just to get rid of the card. Okay, let's see, first action, I will definitely play cornered. 
then I will investigate using the sixth sense. Uh, I'll actually use uh, violin, discard, uh, uh, I'll discard the alt keyring to get a resource, and uh, for my second action I'll play the mist of Lule. So we're pretty much set up as best we can. And uh, last action, we will investigate. I'll commit the guts. So, um, we are testing uh, 7 versus 2. It is a minus 1, so we succeed. Uh, we draw a card. Doesn't really matter. Actually, that's a bad thing. But we get the, uh, the clue. So we can spend all the clues to advance. So, key to the basement. Uh, the investigators must decide to choose one. Uh, any investigator test uh, strength 4 or agility 4 or intellect 4. So, let's see what. So, we, I'm committing both of these tests to the. Uh, intellect test, so I'm testing 6 versus 4. And uh, actually, let's uh, discard one to the corner, uh, getting agility, and this is agility, so we'll test the agility version. So uh, we are 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 versus 4, so a bit better odds. And it is a minus four. Then uh, I guess we'll test uh, intellect two versus four. We don't have any cards to commit. It is an elder sign, so it's a plus one. So still not enough. Uh, after this test ends, I'll shuffle everything except the Watcher into my deck. Uh, if only I could use the corner to pass this uh, by discarding the visions in your mind, but no go. Okay. Last try. Uh, well, we are testing uh, one versus three. It is an. Uh, it is a zero, but it doesn't help. Uh, so you knock uh, the uh, orderly over and grab the keys. Remember that you took the keys by force, advanced at 2A. So we had to take the keys by force now. Um, uh, ignore the text on the unrevealed side of Alcan Asylum locations. Objective find the patient in final location. Daniel Chesterfield, you will be instructed when to advance. So, uh, these uh, locations become available now because the reason we couldn't move is that they read that the doors are locked. But now we have the keys. So, uh, we didn't draw any cards, so we discard this. We gain one damage and one horror. So, that turn went completely poorly. Uh, we draw on your hand one, two, three, four, five uh, weaknesses, old keyring, manual dexterity, moonstone, mysterious raven, and the last chance. And uh, oh, yeah, this goes here. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. This also already is. Let's go to the next round. We had another doom, uh, two of seven. Counter card for this turn is Dance of the Yellow King. Uh, this can search, we don't have any lunatics in play. We get a Maggot Swarm. So, Maggot Swarm's location gets plus two shroud, while Maggot Swarm is at a location with no clues, it gets Hunter. Okay. Do we have anything to kill it? No. 
Spectral Razor would have been really nice in this situation, but it is what it is, so I think we'll start by evading this enemy. And if you succeed after evading the chosen enemy, you may move to a connecting location. And uh, we'll use uh, manual dexterity. So we are testing the willpower. Do we have any? We don't have any willpower icons and last chances. So we'll go with uh, five versus three. Actually. I think we can discard the Moonstone with this corner to go 7 vs 3. It is a plus 1, so this enemy is evaded. And it is at that location. And we get to move over here. So, choose route 1 clue. If there are no clues on the kitchen, test. Um, Oh yeah, I think I forgot to use an action there, so I may have messed up there, but I'll correct it by using two here, for example, uh, or something. Okay, um, let's change it a bit. I used the raven uh, here, so I got the clue without investigating without using any action, so I had an action to do the uh, ability there. Okay, so two clues here. So, um, no, one clue. One clue here. Okay, so investigating. I think I will actually I'll play the raven and then I'll investigate. And using six cents we'll investigate it is a zero, we'll grab the two and we'll do the action next round. So these are discarded. This ready is it has hunter because there are no clues on its location. Then uh, we get five cards: one, two, three, four, five. Mr. Doyle, Strivelin times two. Open gate guts. Well, the open gate is a bit early for our liking, but it is what it is. Well, we can play it at here, which will save us a couple of moves, maybe. Um, so that is that round. We'll also get on the source. Uh, let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Three of seven. Encounter card is walls closing in. Uh, Shroud is two. Uh, we'll commit uh, guts to the test. Uh, we are seven versus two. It is an elder sign, so we pass. Uh, we draw a card, then we will uh, shuffle these back into our deck. So we are getting quite lucky with the Elder Signs, so our deck is replenished with all the good cards I have, I think. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> we pass this. Uh, first action, we'll do the action here. So we set fire to the kitchen. Second action, we'll move here. Uh, last action, we will evade the maggot swarm. And I will evade using Mr. Fulle. And boosting with Mr. Doyle and using the old keyring with cornered. So cornered gives us plus two. This doll gives us plus one. Uh, let's count. So we are four, five, six, seven versus uh, five 
six, seven, eight, uh, three. It is a skull, so we pass. And those uh, maggots are evaded, and we get to move over here. And uh, last action. Well, that that was our last action. Mm. No point in playing the open gate, so we'll just have to discard it. So that was that. Uh, that round we discard our cards. Ready up one, two, three, four, five. Uh, no other open gate. Ready. Read the signs. Draw to the flame. Perception cornered and unexpected courage. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom four of seven. Encounter card is visions in your mind. Uh, when you your turn ends, if you did not perform at least one move action during your turn, discard this card from your hand and take one in, uh, direct damage and one direct four. So we are moving so that will stick in our hand for a while. Um, so first action. We'll move to here. Then uh, we'll move to here. Last action will uh, take one uh, horror craft clue. Oh yeah, after the basement hall is revealed, put the four set aside patient confinement locations to play. So we'll shuffle these. Just place them over here. Add some connections. And uh, so move, move, fast action. And uh, well, there's pretty much nothing to do except move to one of these. So we'll start from here. So test willpower X, where X is the amount of horror on you. If you succeed, you recognize the room. Remember that you will call the way out. One clue here. So we'll do that next round. And we have to spend one clue to move in here. And that is all we can do. Uh, this keeps in stays in our hand one. Uh, we discard all of these. And we draw one, two, three, four cards. Read the signs, swinging it. Perception, last chance. Okay. And this ready. Uh, this ready it actually last round. So this does hunt. Uh, and we gain a resource. We already do. I think we did. I think, yeah. So that was that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a doom. Five of seven. Encounter card is uh, straight jacket. Okay, so this comes into play and discards the violin. And we don't have any body slots, so this is just here uh, instead of a body slot item and that is the encounter or the mythos space so first action we'll do the willpower test here and I'll use uh, or I'll discard being it with corner so we are testing seven versus two Zero. Um, either randomly choose an enemy monster or monster. Set aside monster enemies and place it beneath the act deck or this test ultimately will fail. So we'll do that. So we'll place one from here at random. Beneath the act deck. Okay. 
and uh, we have done this trial also. We'll move and we'll move again. We'll go here. So test strength two to release the patient here from its its his bonds. If you succeed, he howls like a wolf and tears off through the basement. Just remember that you release the dangerous patient. And there's one clue here, and we have to spend one clue to enter here. Okay, well, we discard our hand. Uh, we uh, this hunts here. We ready one, two, three, four cards. Get six cents, winging it. Unexpected courage, and old hearing, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We an add another doom, so six of seven encounter card is uh, young psychopath. After young psychopath engages you, you must either take one horror or young psychopath gets a plus three fight until the end of this investigation phase. So that enemy engages us. And uh, we will just. Let's see how do we want to do this. Well, um, we will just evade. I will discard uh, winging it for cornered and use unexpected courage. And we are using uh, Patrice's own agility and not the mists for this evasion. So we are, well I, I think this is overkill, so we are up by two, so five versus three. And cultist is the amount of horror, so we just succeed, so uh, this enemy is evaded, stays here. Second action, mm. we will investigate, or mm. I'll do the strength check here. So I'll discard one card with cornered and use the unexpected courage. So Mr. Frile, no, uh, six cents, so we are testing five, six, seven, eight, nine against, oh, I mean two. One, one, two, three, four, five, versus two. It is another minus two, so we pass, so we have released the dangerous patient. So we have done four tasks, and I think, if I remember correctly, that is enough. Last action, uh, we really need a clue, so I'll discard this corner. So we're testing seven versus five to investigate this. And it is an Elder Sign again, so we will shuffle our discard back into our deck. Uh, we need to evade this enemy next round, but it is what it is. And the Swarm is also coming. We might, well, yeah, we'll see. So we got this clue. Okay. So, uh, we didn't move, so this goes away. We get one damage and one horror. Uh, we draw cards one, two, three, four, five. This readies engages us again. This moves here. And we gain a resource also. So, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom, so this actually advances. So, let's see. Uh, the lead investigator must randomly choose an enemy amongst the set aside monster enemies and shuffle it into the encounter deck without looking at it. If Constance Domain is not listed under VIP Slade in the collection for Constance Domain, a little too slow sample and spawn her in the garden. So, um, Constance Jumaine spawns at the garden. Uh, 
then uh, we'll just grab one and that is it so this is shuffled into the encounter deck Then we get an encounter card, and it is a maniac. So after maniac engages, you take one damage and deal maniac one damage. Uh, we are pretty swarmed with enemies at the moment, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, first action. We will evade uh, using the mist of fury. No, we'll uh, evade without using the mist. Relay the Maniac and I will use Cornered. So five versus uh, five versus one. Zero Maniac is evaded. Second action will uh, use the Mist of Relay to evade the second. So we are 5 versus 3, I'll use this, no, we'll use Guts to evade, uh, commit Guts, so we are 7 versus 3, 0, and we get to move, this engages us, so both of these are evaded and stay Behind. And we'll evade again with the mists. And I'll use this, uh, commit this with corn. Oh yeah, we drew a card. Yeah, well, it is what it is. And we'll evade seven. Uh, let's go to nine versus three. It is a minus one, so. We succeed and we get to move again, and uh, we find the right one, there's one clue here, and this stays here, and uh, so after patient confinement is revealed, advanced F2B, okay, spawn the set aside host of insanity at patient confinement, Daniel Cell shuffle the encounter discard pile and each enemy beam need the act deck into the encounter deck. So all of these get shuffled in. Yeah, the, these are also evaded. And now we have like three monsters here, which is not that good, but it could be worse. I've had situations where all of these monsters have been <laughs> shuffled in because uh, people have been drawing the Elder Thing token all the time. Okay. And uh, we spawn the host of Sanity here. And this is engaged with us. Here. And uh, oh, yeah, I think this uh, has hunted once already. Okay, so that was our turn. We uh, uh, this attacks us for one damage and one horror. Okay, uh, we have uh, three of each health and four sanity remaining, so that is the enemy phase. We go to upkeep, discard our hand, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, not good, not looking good. And, uh, oh yeah, this hunt's here. Uh, this ready. 
to get, get a resource also. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So we are getting pretty clutch here. So we have eight Doom Threshold. So one of eight. And come the card is... Praying by a key. Okay. <laughs> so that engages us. Oh dear. Well, well, well. Um, let's evade. Okay, so while engaged with an investigator with the remaining sanity of four of your swap. So it is evade too, so that actually helps. Uh, we are evading uh, that one. I'll discard the mysterious raven. Or cornered. So, uh, evading uh, 5 versus 2. Minus 1, it is evaded. I'll evade the host of sanity next. I'll commit swiveling. 5 versus 4, so we need to get lucky here. Minus 1, evaded. Last action will have to move over here, so this engages us. And that is our turn. So we'll just keep this so I don't get confused with those. Okay. Mm. Constance hunts here. We really need to find a, a open gate some way. Okay. Uh, this hits us for one horror. And we discard our hand, we draw one, two, three, four, and we get the open gate. So we might just pull a win here if we survive. And this ready. And uh, we gain a resource. So that is that round. One, two, three, four, five. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. And we add a Doom. Encounter card is... Uh, this is in your mind. When your turn ends, if you did not perform at least one resource action for your turn, take this card, this card from your hand and take one, in the, in the, one direct damage and one direct horror. So, not looking good. First action. We will evade. I will commit Old ring with cornered, so 5 versus 3. Plus 1, Ra uh, the maggot swarm is evaded. Fast action, I will play open gate. Uh, second action will move from here to here. Last action, we will move... No, we'll take a resource action, actually. We don't want to take the horror. Or the damage. And we don't want to be in the garden if we spawn an enemy. And uh, that is that round. Constance hunts here. Uh, these both hunt here, and that is that round, this readies. So we discard these two cards, we draw two, uh, three cards. Spectral Razor, Scrout Scourge, by some manual dexterity, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we'll add a Doom and counter card for this round. Is uh, when your turn ends, if you did not perform at least one move action. So, again. Uh, okay, well. First action. We'll move to the garden. Oh, yeah. Uh, our goal is to 
uh, investigators have performed four of the following master plans. So, uh, yeah, I forgot to do that. Shuffle the encounter, discard and encounter. Yeah, yeah. It's three enemies per shuffle. Yeah, for low. Uh, I think we shuffled the monster before this advance, so I think we're good. Okay, so we have the objective. It needs undefeated investigators resigned advance. So guarding gains action if there are already enemies in the garden resigned finally a way out. And there is one clue here. And uh, we'll try to. Uh, mm. Yeah, we have one, two, three, four. So, yeah, we advance. So, we'll just uh, resign before anything bad happens. Okay, well, that was a tight one. We were able to resign and get out. Uh, unfortunately, we got uh, two less experience because of this stupid card. So let's see uh, the resolution. So uh, if uh, so, let's see. Oh yeah, we. So he took the keys by four, so resolution two. Uh, let's see. Resolution two in your camper log record that the investigators were attacked as they escaped the asylum. Uh, each investigator suffers one physical trauma as they are assaulted by the asylum guards. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. Uh, Constance is not under VIP stain now. Uh, remove all to special tokens and add two tablet tokens to the bag. And we continue to interlude the lost soul. And uh, I'll read that and resolve that after this. So, um, yeah, well, the campaign continues. Uh, next up, we have the uh, Phantom of Truth scenario, which is one, also a really interesting one. And uh, yeah, we escaped the asylum thanks to the open gate. That really helps out in this scenario. So uh, we only got uh, we got uh, one, two. So we got zero experience. So well, no changes will be made to the deck. So. Uh, yeah, that is that game. Thanks for watching and until next time.